Come along, Hogan. <laughs> This has been a weird day. Exactly. Hmm. Nicely equipped. What needs work? Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you now? Renards. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness. Confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms.
Who am I to offer you counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. <coughs> Here, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He terrified you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever been around you as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that. I lost myself there. More than once. But for me, there is something beyond that. And what is that? Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. <laughs> well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Madam Eva. I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. We are certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No. That is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter, and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From oh. me, of course. Oh, of course. Quiet. She is a friend. Now. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants. They herself had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet. Who we would fight. All of it. As it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, 
Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekrim. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly <coughs> determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal. Wise. Clever. <coughs> Tall. Hold. Let us search this area. The Oarsmen. A monument to conquerors. Made some lovely warships, though.
Mimir, the way you still speak of Sigrun, it doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well. No. The well of Earth, their home is... Hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's mind? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Hmm? I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon. Ah! Incoming fire!
perfectly sealed. Something in here is giving it power. The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mystic. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Mm. Is right. They have ways of discouraging visitation. Old. Prepare for a fight. Draw that hole. I see it. It does not matter. Doesn't it? If rage is all that remains, her reasons are irrelevant. <laughs> Did 
that Odin seek the Norns. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. There. You mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the Norns last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. It's like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Or oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury path. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It's strange credulity, obviously. The wolves lead us here. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! This search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. <clears throat> what is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. <clears throat> What's that outpost? I'm here for you. What can I make for you? Gonna keep it spatter free this time, right? Kratos? Strike true.
And for the Valkyrie Queen? Something in mind? Oh, got time to chat? This will be of use. You won't believe it, Mimir. This crest belongs to Fjotrlund. Fjotrlund, you say? Now that's where Sigrunen from. Another crane. Changing arrows! Another sleeping beast, the handiwork of Alvi Stonefoot. So, this outpost is what's left of the <laughs> Seagram spoke of growing up with these people before she joined the Valkyries. <laughs> Another raven free.
Musical instrument from your homeland, isn't it? Can you play? Yes. Will you? No. <laughs> now, where have we seen an artifact like that before? Tears vault. <laughs> told me her kingdom housed a great treasury filled with the spoils of her family's conquests. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. <laughs> Did she say where? No, desperately kept it hidden. <laughs> I see something. Well 
done. Those runes over there can shed some light. What? No, she never mentioned. Is that a key? Hmm. Wonder what lock that key belongs to. No lock. It is broken. Not broken. It's just split in half. Perhaps we could find its partner. Another. A king named Helgi. Seems they were madly Ooh, in love. A souvenir but from her parents foreign wouldn't lands. let them marry. Oh, come on, You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? I suppose I did. have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. As I was saying, tales of time travel always strain credulity. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abuse their power. When I challenge them, they threaten to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Aye, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. 
And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. But we will speak of this later. There's some debris over there. I'm guessing from Shears' first statue. Iron peace, not a golden war. Tyr used to talk about how heavy the cost of war was compared to its bounties. He felt like it was his responsibility to avoid it. Kind of still does, in fact. Mamir, look. Another Fjotulund marking. 
Aye, this place must have been part of Seagram's kingdom. A first outpost preceding further expansion. Looks like there's a staircase on the other side. Uh. 